In 2016, Cambridge was proud to introduce a full line of natural stone products, including dimensional stone in Cumberland Gray, Cumberland Brown, and Rainbow, as well as travertine in Silver and Walnut. New for this season are two additional colors in our dimensional stone, Cumberland Blue and Imperial Brown. Between our core Cambridge products with Armortech and our exciting partnerships with premier suppliers of natural stone, we have been able to provide the quality our contractors have come to rely on and expect from Cambridge. Many of our loyal contractors are familiar with the installation techniques of concrete pavers, but are less familiar with the installation guidelines of natural stone. Natural stone installation methods can vary, but two of the most common are dry laid or a wet laid installation. Dry lay installation refers to the laying of stone on a bed of crushed aggregate base and sand. It is typically the most economical installation technique, but if not done correctly, the stones can move over time. To avoid any movement, we recommend that a patio or walkway base be a minimum of eight inches deep, preferably 12 if possible. A finished surface of a dry lay natural stone installation is only as good as the base. Therefore, taking time to increase your base depth will prove to be an excellent investment. With a properly compacted base, our inch and inch and a quarter natural stone and travertine is well suited for a dry lay application and will pose little to no risk of movement over the life of the installation. Edge restraints from Cambridge Retaining Wall Products or Alliance Gator Edging must be used in this type of installation. Here we see the detail you should follow for a typical dry lay natural stone installation. As you can see, we start off with eight inches of crushed three quarter stone or state approved RCA for our foundation. The base material is compacted in two inch lifts. On top of the base material, we have one inch of C33 sand for our bedding course. The natural stone is laid on the screeded bed of C33 sand and set into place using a rubber mallet. In a dry lay installation, Joints can be filled with C33 sand or Alliance Gator Max polymeric sand. And remember the use of a proper edge restraint. A few additional recommendations to achieving a successful dry lay installation of natural stone would be to place larger size stones strategically in areas like doorways, entrances, or at the bottom of steps to ensure added stability in these high traffic areas. The same would apply around pool decks. Place larger pieces in areas where pool cover mechanisms may be anchored into the stone. Natural stone or travertine should never be plate compacted. Stone should be tapped down with the rubber mallet to level and set in place. When installing travertine to eliminate potential damage due to ice collecting in the holes, openings in the surface are often filled by many contractors in the Northeast. We recommend you speak to your dealer to find out the various products available. The other recommended method for installing natural stone is in a wet lay application. Wet lay or mortar installation is the direct opposite of a dry lay installation. In this method of installation, natural stone or travertine is applied with mortar directly on a sub base of new concrete or over an existing slab. Once set in place, the joints are typically filled with additional mortar, colored grout, or Alliance Gator Max polymeric sand. Here we see the detail you should follow for a typical wet lay installation of natural stone. As you can see, we start off with six inches of granular crushed base. A three quarter crushed stone or clean stone can be used for this. This base material is compacted in two inch lifts with a mechanical tamper. A concrete pad four to five inches thick is poured on top of the crushed base. Prior to pouring the concrete slab, you should lay reinforcing mesh throughout. Here is a sample of the mesh used to reinforce the slab. This mesh must be elevated off the granular surface so it is contained within the lower half of the concrete. The next part of the installation is a wet mortar, typically type S mixed with sand and water as per the manufacturer's instructions. The mortar is applied to the surface of the concrete slab with a trowel and is recommended to be approximately one inch thick. For added adhesion, use of a bonding agent can be applied directly to the concrete slab or mixed into the mortar. The natural stone or travertine are placed on a bed of mortar and set in place using a rubber mallet and a level. Cambridge natural stone 
is designed to be installed with a half inch or three eighths inch joint. Travertine is laid without a joint. Once the stone has cured in the concrete, joints should be filled with mortar, colored grout, or Alliance Gator Max polymeric sand. We recommend using a grout bag as it lends itself to a much easier cleanup. The joints should then be cleaned as soon as possible with a damp sponge, rinsing often, before any mortar has had a chance to dry on the surface of the stone. With the addition of natural stone and travertine to Cambridge's product offerings, we hope these installation methods allow you to add natural stone to the list of services your company offers to your customers. For more information, please visit us at www.cambridgepavers.com.